came out. Big black acrylic snake. It. is because, you know, the wash kind of came out grayish color, well, it's kind of a brownish gray, but I usually use grays, and of course, they're probably all over in the other little shed, but I got over there, I got brown, brown, do I have any gray? Smells like sour milk. That's really funky. Anyways, let's use it to paint this with. It's kind of a weird color. It's kind of a gray, blue gray wash. Colors won't show up on everybody's monitor, is different anyway, so. Not much sense I'm showing you. Funky. Okay. Need to make it a little bit grayer. Save this paint. Oh. Well. That stuff tasted. Rude. Mm. Jabba. Jabba, 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 jabba. Good for you. Coffee's good for you. I know. I've got friends that have never had a cup of coffee, ever. That blows my mind. Mind you, they cheat, eh? They get all their caffeine from iced tea or something like that, eh? Okay, so this is a funky gray. Funky gray made from days old indoor acrylic paint wash. <laughs> what was that stuff called? Silver cloud. Actually, it came out really nice inside the house, eh? Silver cloud. Okay, so. But it does give us a gray, a good, good gray wash there. Or glass wash. Pretty funky. Excellent. Still need some gray paint though. Okay. Now we'll just leave the other one brown. Shh. We'll make it more brown. Because I got brown here. Oh. Which also has a big acrylic snake in it. Dirty brown because it's got bits of black in with it. Bits of black and gray because we're running out of paint here. Okay. Excellent.
You know, one thing with uh, to make things look natural is to have it a little bit chaotic, you know? Uh, lots of textures, lots of colors, bits of random shit showing. I mean, you can see on the on the black here that there's there is bits of the brown showing. When it's all done, that'll that'll look look okay, you know. It really, it does, eh? And uh, usually, only you, the guy painting it or doing it, will see those and be fussed about them. Everybody else's eye will fill in the detail. Like, you know, I can paint like this, and then just dry brush that with a, you know, a gr a gray, a white. Uh, you know, usually it's a, it's a gray and a black and a little bit of brown that I've got all mixed together in my palette, hey, and I, you know, just dry brush it. And people go, oh, wow, that must have taken you a long time to do, eh? <laughs> you know, because they're thinking of solid colors. So they're thinking that each one of these variations in the color are a new color that I've painted on, eh? Which is like, oh, my God. No, don't do it that way. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do it this way, it's easier. <laughs> yeah, way faster, way faster. So, oh, my Canada Post sucks t shirt. It's now become a rag. Anyways, say, save the. <laughs> I rant about Canada Post, but uh, here's a typical Canadian for you, okay? So I'm inside and I'm working on. Uh, what was I doing? I don't know. I was on the computer doing something and all of a sudden I hear. Outside, eh? And what the? Go outside here and I see a pine cone go by by the cardboard like this, eh? And then the neighbor's dog, they're, they're new here, eh? Uh, I see their dog, and he goes, tear down the driveway, and it's the mailman, eh? And dog, dog's heading right for the mailman, eh? So I go, hey, hey! You know, and I yell at the dog, eh? And the dog kind of Fears past the mailman as he aims the kick game and runs down to the end of the driveway, hey, and the mailman's all, you know, freaked out and pissed off <laughs> and stuff like that. So I kind of calm him down and, he, you know, she home, he knocks on the door, she's not home, hey, that's why the dog's out, obviously, hey, but so <laughs> she, uh, he, you know, he goes off and I, and I, I, I assure him that, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try dealing with this dog for you, man, and uh, I'll, I'll let her know, hey. So I'm a cat guy, eh? I've got lots of cats, eh? Actually, he, 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 uh, he knows me, eh? So obviously my postal rants are getting through. Excellent. Anyways, he goes back, he goes, You're Steve, right? Because <laughs> I, I doubt if he's in the gaming terrain. <laughs> You're Steve, right? And I go, yeah, yeah. And he says, oh, I'm not being an asshole, he says. <laughs> I said, hey, understandable, understandable. I'm a cat guy. And he says, yeah, me too. I'm a cat guy too. <laughs> Anyway, so I get the dog into the backyard, eh? You know, I just got in the yard, out of the yard, you know, played the bigger dog, eh? And the dog kind of went in the backyard and I tied it in there, eh? And she gets home. And apparently, the dog had jumped through this little window they've got. Uh, it's for an old uh, air conditioner that they have over there, eh? And it's, uh, I mean, it's seven feet up. It's like right up to the roof, eh? It's only, I mean, it's only about this big, eh? I don't even know, I didn't even know it opened, to tell you the truth, eh? <laughs> but anyways, apparently the dog got up that, <laughs> that little window, eh? It's one of those uh, Egyptian-y type dogs, eh, that you see on the, the pharaohs, hieroglyphical type things. I can't remember what the dog is called, but anyways, my uh, Canada Post t-shirt <laughs> brought that back to mind, eh? Uh, that was funny. Yeah, bad dog. Bad dog. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, I'm still waiting for this to dry.